economic downturns can be tough to navigate, potentially putting everything you have at risk. During financial crises, even those who felt secure may lose their jobs, a sadly common occurrence. Your retirement savings can get halved, or even your home may fall into the hands of the bank. These circumstances can cause long-lasting health issues and problems in relationships. When the economy is doing well for an extended period, it's easy to forget about such difficulties. However, you should never overlook measures to minimize the impacts of potential slowdowns. During an economic recession, those who are financially strong can find it to be a significant opportunity. It can present them with a chance to build a wealth unimaginable. So, learn to prepare for tough times so that you can seize the opportunities that come your way. In this video, I will explain all the intricacies of this topic. I request you to please watch this video patiently till the end. I understand that these topics don't interest everyone, but that's why you're here, you think differently from them. This, my friend, is the key to your success. Let's delve a little deeper into the topic of recession. Recession generally refers to a significant and prolonged decline in economic activity. Factors such as inflation, deflation, high interest rates, and credit issues can lead to this. Unemployment rates increase, consumer confidence falls, people lose their homes, and businesses go bankrupt. These situations often lead to declines in the stock market as investors panic, lose confidence, and withdraw their money from the market. Being able to remain calm in such situations is a successful investor's biggest weapon. The most critical habit to improve your financial situation at every stage of each economic cycle is to spend less than you earn. The difference between income and expenditure is used for future investments and paying off debts. However, many people fall into the trap of increasing their expenses with an increase in income, leading to a never-ending cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. When you get a raise, instead of immediately spending that money on a new car or bigger house, you could put it aside. When your tax refunds come in, instead of promptly spending that money on a holiday, maybe you could add it to your savings. Living below your means might sound boring or monotonous at first, but remember, implementing this principle in your life will have a positive impact on your quality of life. If you notice, all the hourly workers around you cannot escape from the debt trap, even if their salaries increase. This brings us to our second important point. You can increase your income, but you should not increase your expenses unless your investments can sustain your lifestyle without working. If you're wondering how to do this, you should watch my previous video right after this one. I'll share it in the description for you. Did you know that the average millionaire has seven sources of income? They are not solely reliant on their paycheck to cover the mortgage on their homes, car installments, and all other bills. If you diversify your income, you'll experience less stress if one income source gets cut off. If you can combine diversifying your income flow and controlling your spending in your life, you continue to pay your bills even in a possible crisis. Managing multiple income streams may seem daunting, but it actually ensures you are financially secure even if a particular income stream stops. Let's say you have an office job and also provide a tow truck service as a side job during weekdays and weekends. Over time, this side job can become popular with requesting customers and may start earning you more than your main job. In this case, you could leave your main job and start earning two or three times the annual income you'd get from your primary job. What's important here is that paying off debt may not always be the most sensible option in every situation. Simply put, it may be more sensible to make minimum payments on low interest debts while quickly paying off high interest debts. Instead of investing our extra money into low interest loans, we could direct this money into investments and earn more. Ask yourself, does it make sense to put this money into an investment that yields a 10% return instead of paying off a debt with a 3% interest rate? Mathematically, this could make sense, but remember, 
your monthly expenses decrease incredibly when you have very little or no debt obligations. Compare yourself to a person who is in debt. If you aren't making any payments on your car, student loan, credit card, or even your mortgage, just imagine how low your monthly expenses would be. This puts you in a much safer position in the event of an economic hit or recession. Besides that, imagine how much better you would sleep at night without any debt burden. Setting aside the fact that you could have a much more peaceful sleep at night, have you ever asked yourself a question? How many times did you shop and then regret it? You know, that brand new car you bought, which is now dented, constantly has mechanical problems and is almost worthless. Or the timeshare you impulsively bought while on vacation, or the extravagant wedding for 300 people you and your spouse threw. If these things matter and bring you happiness, there's nothing wrong with buying these expensive items. However, the problem is when people make shopping a habit, constantly spending money on things that lose value after a few days, weeks, or even months, drains your wallet. This pointless, thoughtless spending makes you question where all your hard-earned money went when you lose your job or your retirement savings lose value during a market crash. Rethinking before buying an expensive item or evaluating whether you really want to be extravagant could be a step much appreciated by your future self. This way, you can enjoy every dollar you spend much more, and you won't make a purchase that will be quickly forgotten. When the stock market crashes or there is an economic recession, it may seem as if everything you know has come to an end. Will everything go back to normal? According to Acorns, the average recession occurs about every four years and lasts for one and a half years. An average bear market, periods when the value of stocks falls by at least 20%, happens roughly every three and a half years and lasts between nine to 10 months. During this time, the average market decline is about 35%. In simple terms, every three and a half years, you can witness the market dropping by an average of 35%. But don't worry, because the stock market usually tends to recover in less than a year. Losing a large portion of the value of your investments is not a pleasant situation, especially as you get older and it gets harder to recover from this loss. However, when you look at history and understand what could happen, accepting these situations becomes easier. If you manage to invest in the right stocks during a bear market, you can make large profits in a very short time. I will soon explain how this was achieved by a very important investor. Keeping in mind that markets will not always be positive encourages you to prepare your portfolio against such events and avoid situations you do not want. Always try to maintain a safe debt ratio. In other words, do not take on more debt than you can carry throughout all market cycles. When the economy has been healthy for several years, buying stocks on margin may seem like a flawless idea. But what if things go wrong? Would you still think it's a good idea? Or would you have over indebted yourself? Or what do you think about the mortgage that allows you to borrow against a large part of the value of your home and leaves you with very little or no equity? You can easily make the payments now, but what if your income decreases? There are potential advantages to borrowing, but you have to be extremely careful not to overborrow and take into account every cycle of the market. The worse the market or economy, the better the profit opportunities. As Warren Buffett has pointed out, be fearful when others are greedy, be greedy when others are fearful. Investors who are well positioned to buy assets at a discount are generally generously rewarded when these assets regain their all-time highs. This buy the dip strategy follows the buy low, sell high principle, which is a fundamental investment rule. While timing the market perfectly is extremely difficult, Buying stocks with the intention of holding them long term during periods when prices show a sharp decline can generally be a simple and effective strategy. If you have a large amount of cash and can take the risk of directing it into investments, this strategy can be wise. However, for those with extra capital, 
Periods of stagnation often bring opportunities. Especially young individuals can easily forget how things were during past periods of stagnation. When the economy is growing and seems invincible, these hard times usually turn into a distant memory. However, remembering these times and always being prepared makes you more resilient against a drop in income or a large loss in portfolio value. It may even provide the opportunity to discover the tremendous value in the markets. Compare this with someone who expects a perfect economy and a constantly rising market and is card and prepared, risking losing their home, having major problems with their family, and encountering many other harmful situations. Which side would you want to be on? In my opinion, by clicking on this video and watching it to the end, you showed from the beginning which side you wanted to be on. Be sure you are in the right place. You patiently watch this video until this minute. I ask you to join our family. The only way to get out of this vicious cycle is to be able to change the people around us. Let's achieve this on this channel. Share your every experience in the comments with people who are trying to think differently like you. Let's all achieve financial freedom together. If there is a specific topic you would like to see in the next video, please indicate in the comments. And please don't forget to like so that we can grow our family and accumulate new experiences. Hope to meet you again in my next video. Goodbye, my friend.